Hello, it's Twisted Threads. I'm Karen Sims. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, we are here for another segment of our Reflections of Purpose, where we come to you a couple of times a week just to give you something to think about, something to work on. Sometimes there's some homework, but we're excited that you decided to press play. As always, we ask that if you hear something that impacts your life, please like and share the videos and make sure that you are visiting us on our Facebook page as well as uh, being subscribers on our YouTube channel. Today, as we always do, we're getting right into the topic. Today's topic is the lottery approach. Yeah, the lottery approach, pick three. And we want to specifically talk about the lottery approach as it pertains to us setting goals for ourselves. So a lot of us have goals that we set and sometimes um, we bite off more than we could chew. Sometimes the goals seem so big because it's like there's so many of them and I, I wanna lose 10 pounds, I wanna go back to school, I wanna buy a new car, I wanna buy a new house, I wanna re renovate some particular thing, I wanna uh, recalibrate my business. There's so many goals that sometimes it stalls us from starting because the menus too big. And so when we think about the lottery approach, what, what is the original lottery approach? The original lottery approach before the mega ball, before the power ball, before all of those, it was pick three. Yeah, you remember your grandparents, your aunties, your uncles, they would go and they would play their numbers. I'm talking about the real numbers, but they would pick three numbers. And those three numbers were kind of their thought for, this is going to get me to the big time. That's a similar way that you can think about the focus on when you set goals for yourself. Now, look, once you get past the pick three, maybe you'll be able to take on more morsels. And so you can go from kind of drinking the milk to eating the meat and potatoes. But where do you start when you're thinking about goal setting? Pick three. That's the lottery approach. The lottery approach requires you to be selective and intentional. Now, look. Being selective is one thing. Being intentional, that's on a whole nother level. When we think about being intentional about the goals that we're setting for ourselves, that takes some time. It takes some reflections and hopefully our reflections of purpose is putting you in line with what you need to do in your life. But when you're thinking about being selective, you got, and I think it's like 50 numbers that you get to choose from with the pick three and you pick three numbers. That's it. I don't know how many numbers. I don't really pick three, but the approach is sound. Pick the three things that you really hope will allow you to win. Think about that. If you made and set goals for yourself and will, if you haven't seen the video, there'll be additional videos on goal casting and goal setting and vision casting as well. Cause it's a difference. But if you had three things to choose on that list, that was going to secure a win for you, you would be thinking about those way differently than just, I'm just going to pop off three numbers and it's 50 cent or it's a dollar in it. But when you think about the connection of the three goals that you set and how they will set and create a legacy for you. Wow. I'm blown away by that. You should be blown away too. Now, maybe my list is different than yours because we've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. And so picking the first three, first things first, I pick those three and I'm able to figure out how to get them done. And then I can go back to the list and, and kind of reorder and figure out what I want to do with the next thing on our, on my list. But the lottery approach, it requires what being selective and intentional, having conversations with your spouse, having conversations with your family and your children to say, so what do we want this year to be to talk about what we want our goal setting to look like? And hopefully you've done that already. So you got a list of things that you want to do. And maybe it's long for some of you, maybe it's short, get some more things on the list, but at least you get an opportunity opportunity to know that it's not just a requirement for you, but this is a strategy that you're creating for yourself so that you win. So your family wins so that your community wins and so that you create a winning streak. You know, I love it because this time of year is usually a uh, football playoffs and I'm a football fan. Okay. I'm an Eagles fan. We are currently the uh, Super Bowl champions of 2018. And until somebody come take the title, we riding this thing all the way out. 
Now, when you think about the playoffs, that takes you to a whole nother level of play, a whole nother level of being intentional because you can't just show up for the game when it's a football game. It's like, okay, well, maybe we'll win some, maybe we'll lose some. See, the difference with the playoffs is you can't afford to lose. And when you think about the lottery approach and what you want to set for your goals, if you change your mindset to say, I can't afford to lose. What you set as your goal is going to change. See, the vacations will be nice, but they won't be necessary. The time away for you to recalibrate your spirit and your soul, that'll be important. But you will realize, hey, I can do that for $100 versus $2,000. When you understand that losing is not an option because in the playoffs, you get knocked out of the tournament. You get knocked out of the championships and you no longer are able to hit that mark. Now, look, I'm usually not competitive about a lot of the things. Well, actually, that's a lie. I'm competitive about everything. But I try to be nice and subtle with things in my life so that we understand that there is a healthy approach to competition. But I'm in competition with no one but me. And, and that's a thing that I often have to remind myself because I'll see somebody and I'll celebrate everybody. Oh, they got blessed with that. Oh, they got a house. They got a car. But look, if they in my lane, sometimes where my side eye is at, Mm, sometimes mm -mm. be like, well, you over here. I'm going to need to push you back over there. But that's not my job. If we're all staying in our lane and we understand that the lottery approach, what selective, intentional, can't afford to lose. That means that we're going to select the areas that we desire to make the greatest impact. Look, my area of impact probably is not going to match yours. It doesn't make yours uh, right or wrong. It doesn't make mine right or wrong. It's what my focus is going to be. And I love it because I had a vice president um, that I worked for before and he had a model. What gets measured gets done. So if you're not tracking it, it's probably not getting done. But the things that you track, the things that you're selective about, the things that you're like, OK, this is exactly what I need to do. And you pick three. Odds are you're going to win and the win is going to be big. It's going to be impactful and it'll be what you want it to be. That's kind of the, the biggest thing with it is that it's going to be what you want it to be. Now, look, every win is not going to be a big win. It doesn't mean that you push it aside and say, OK, I need three big things. Maybe, you know, getting your passport is on your goal list because you've got other things that are connected to you getting your passport. And maybe that's a small thing. Now it's about a hundred dollars. You need to fill out some paperwork. They get all up in your business, you know, and hopefully you're OK with that. But maybe that's not a huge thing for you. Maybe you starting your business and figuring out what kind of corporation you want to uh, decide to move forward in. Are you going to have a nonprofit? Is it going to be an LLC? Will it be an S Corp? Is it something else that you want to do? Figure out those things and recognize that the small ripples still make important impacts in you achieving your goals. That's important. And the whole thing of the, 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 the points that I tried to make and the things that come to my mind are also because of my experiences being a life coach. Now, my specialization is in goal success, life purpose, and happiness coaching. It's a thing. It's a thing. And it encompasses so many different areas of our life. But as those smaller things are achieved and you're making the impact, always remember to celebrate. Look, I tell people all the time, I'm a professional party crasher. If there's a party somewhere or something going on, I want to be in the midst of it. Why? Because that's the only way that we can invoke changes. If we show up, be great and make sure that amazing is a goal for us in everything that we do. Celebrate small victories. Also think about going back to the lottery approach. Most people, when they win the lottery, what do they do? Oh, I won $5. Oh, let me get five more tickets. Reinvest and make that a habit when you know what it is the goal is. So you've picked your three with the lottery approach. The small victory came and you're reinvesting your winnings so that you can create more tenacity and more joy in your life. Why? 
because everybody wants to win. Who wants to lose? Nobody wants to be a loser. Even, you know, even the, the whole thing of the TV show of the biggest loser was so that there'd be a winner. How about that? Like even the words are, are backwards in that particular sense, but you get the thought to understand that even the lottery approach reminds you reinvest your winnings in yourself. So whatever legacy you want, make sure that you're multiplying that. You want peace? Be peaceful. You want friends? Well, be friendly. Hello. You want, mo- you want love in your life? Give love and it'll multiply. Remember as you're reinvesting those things, take the lottery approach, pick your three top goals. And once they're achieved, go back and get some more numbers, go back and pick three more. The process We've got to trust it, but understand that the goal is the win. We want success in our lives. And so we're thinking about moving forward. We're taking a lottery approach. Make sure you make it an amazing day today. This is Karen Sims. You're here at Twisted Threads. Remember, as always, if you found something or heard something that was uh, impactful to your life or brought you a laugh or some happiness, remember to like and share the videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our Facebook page and our Instagram because we try to uh, give good messages in all the places that we are. It's that we are. It's Twisted Threads. Make it an amazing day. <laughs>